Well, at the moment, these are all a set of recommendations from the Transport Select Committee, so we'll have to see if any do get put into practice. Now, you said they'll work hard to improve customer communications in the future, but the Southern Transport Secretary will come if you see anything change in terms of winter this year. Lee, thank you very much. National organisations who are against a controversial high speed railway line join together at a special conference today. The government says that HS2 would allow passengers to reach the capital from Birmingham in under 40 minutes. But campaigners say it's a waste of money and not in the national interest. Victoria Davis reports. A proposed high speed rail line which is already pushing the buffers. HS2 may be a way to reach the capital from Birmingham in less than 40 minutes, but at today's conference in London, these campaigners said it's a waste of money. This will cost every household in the country more than a thousand pounds. Why do we want to do that? To support basically well-off people in a few places to go slightly faster somewhere. It's a huge diversion of our resources, and this isn't just money, but it's the engineering resources. We don't have enough. So dedicate exclusively to this one white elephant to a project. Today's meeting was organised by the Taxpayers Alliance to demonstrate the strength of opposition to this high speed line. If it was given the green light, it would cost £32 billion. What we brought together today is an incredibly broad coalition. Everyone from the Taxpayers Alliance to the Green Party to the RAC Foundation to the Countryside Alliance. All of you are saying this scheme isn't what the country needs or we need to be reconsidering it, thinking about better ways of getting the right transport infrastructure to keep us in the air. The government says HS2 will boost the local economy and create 10,000 jobs in the West Midlands. There's currently a public consultation going on which will end in July. But as far as this group is concerned, the opposition is strong enough to halt the scheme for good. Victoria Davis for Central Command. Carers in the West Midlands save the government £11 billion pounds a year. That's according to a new survey by Carers UK. Nationally, nearly 6.5 million people are currently providing care to loved ones. In the West Midlands alone, that figure lies at just under 600,000. According to the NHS, if there was a penny for those carers, they would be on around £18 pounds an hour. Now, with the high street feeling the pinch during the economic downturn, more shops are lying empty as landlords struggle to find people to rent them. Well, there are bargains to be had. And how about this? You can now rent a city centre shop in prime location for three months for a pound. If you do well, you stay on. If not, try to last. Mark Off has more on the high street's new phenomenon, the pop up shop. In these straitened times, we've all got to cut our cloth. And that means businesses too. In a downturn, the only things that go up are these. The signs saying shops and offices are empty. But some are cashing in on the tough times. This city centre shop in Birmingham is being rented for three months for a pound. Yes, a pound. By Taylor Austin Pickles. A lot of landlords in the UK are now having a good look at the uh, property we've got available. And they're making it a lot more attractive to retail businesses like Campbell. Could you have done this over the next 12 months ago? No, we couldn't have done this last year or the year before, the year before that. Austin is based in Yorkshire with a shop in London and his tailors usually travel the country, measuring clients for their suits at home or work. This way, he can drum up trade in a city. The benefit is that we get the opportunity to, to, to launch a simple market, a pop-up shop, in a fantastic we have been prohibiting the extent of the country shop. Yes, it's a That's what he gets out of it, so what the landlords get out of it. Well, this commercial property expert on these pop-up shops will catch on, because the tenants might be getting it for a quid. But he's also paying the rates and the service charges, something the landlord would have to pay if his shop was empty. It's a cracking idea. The real benefit for the is all about the business rate and the service charge. 